Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're going to be talking about a pen tester. What is a pen tester or a penetration tester? My name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry and we are talking about pen testers. What does a penetration tester do? As the name suggests, it is somebody that is going to try to penetrate something. Now, this term is a term that is used in the IT sphere. Essentially, the, the job of a pen tester is to try to test and infiltrate IT systems, an IT network, or an application. They are essentially a ethical hacker. So they're gonna be performing tasks that a hacker would do, but ethically. They have been brought in with a sole purpose to be able to ethically hack into a network to discover vulnerabilities and threats on a computer system. A pen tester will generally be called in by an organization. There's gonna be an organization, a company out there that is concerned about its security or wants to know how secure their network environment is. So they may engage with an external company to call in a pen tester. Generally, the best pen testers are those that are gonna be from outside of the organization, not within the organization. I have seen places that do have pen testing internally, but it sort of defeats the point because the internal pen tester already knows about the systems to an extent. So bringing somebody from outside is better. Somebody that has no understanding of the network, no visibility of what the company does, of what the company structured like, and they can just go fresh in to try to um, infiltrate into the network. A pen tester is going to be uh, specialized in one or more different areas. It really depends on what the organization requires when they do require a pen tester, but you could be bringing in a pen tester just to test the network, to test the network switches, the network firewalls, the actual security of the network. You could have pen testers that just specialize around servers and testing the server security, the server vulnerabilities, etc. You could have pen testers that are specialized just in applications, in websites. You may just want to be able to test your website's um, strength on the internet. You've got a website that is internet facing and you want to bring a pen tester to try to hack into the website or to actually check a application, one of your core applications and just see whether your application has vulnerabilities and whether they can exploit those vulnerabilities and take out data. Obviously the goal of a pen tester is to be able to, at the end of the day, provide a big report to the powers that be about what they found and what vulnerabilities have been discovered on the network. Generally a pen tester will come into an organization under the knowledge of somebody within the company. Could be somebody like a CISO, like a Chief Information Security Officer, a CTO, an IT Director, an IT Manager, that is gonna be calling in somebody from external to check the network, and at the end of that, the uh, pen tester will write a report on the findings. So that then that, that, you know, that person of influence, that IT um, leader, can then put those fixes in place, get the team in place to be able to fix those vulnerabilities and strengthen the IT network. A blind test is somebody that is going to try to infiltrate the network without any prior knowledge of the organization. They don't know anything about the organization. They don't know what the organization necessarily will do. They don't know the structure. They don't know the, the filter. They don't know what sort of IT systems are in place. They're gonna come in blind and they need to try to figure the figure the stuff out as they go. There's obviously gonna be an element of discovery that needs to be done by that pen tester to try to work out the organizational structure before they can go in and start to you know, look into the IT network configuration side of things. Essentially, the aim of the pen tester could be to try to get access uh, from, to a externally facing website out on the network, out on the internet, to get access into that website, to be able to get access into the internal network from the internet. They could also be uh, responsible for, once they are within the organization, if they're physically in the organization, to try to get themselves elevated privileges. So they could be coming in with absolutely no account in the organization, they've just got a computer that they've been given, and then their job is to go in and try to figure out how to get themselves permissions and how to go around the network and possibly gain themselves some additional uh, you know, network rights, uh, permissions on the network itself. Really the end goal of that pen tester is to simulate a hacking, a real life hacking event. So whatever a real life hacker wants to get access to and steal is what a pen tester is going to be aiming for. And as I mentioned, after all of this stuff is done, that pen tester will give themselves a will give a report to the powers that be, 
present perhaps their findings in a report form, in a board meeting, whatever it may be, and say this is what we found and this is what we recommend you to get fixed. So there you have it, that is what a pen tester, a penetration tester is and does. We are gonna be doing a number of videos around the subject of pen testing, about hacking, about how to stop hacking. Uh, so hopefully you stay tuned and watch a lot of those. We're gonna go into detail about techniques that can be used to be able to get into a network, techniques that can be used to infiltrate and to block hackers and hacking attempts onto your network, what systems you, you wanna use to be able to prevent attacks on your network. So that is it. I would love it if you like this video and subscribe to Digital by Computing for a whole bunch of more videos. We'll see you next time.